<laughs> um, so starting it was more, okay, from obviously from Hedgefund perspective, if any of you guys have ever worked as a quant researcher, you know this, right? Like half your job is wrangling data mm -hmm. uh, and you're like, wait, this is not what I expected, right? You wanted to build like signals and actually do all the sexy work, but instead you're like, you know, cleaning data and like sourcing data and stuff. And you're like, this kind of sucks. Like, um, but it's not just that it's more like, um, for us, because uh, we were at the level where we had to, um, go look for the data and, um, we actually ran, ran across a lot of restrictions with mm -hmm how we could use that data. So for example, um, we had a lot of restrictions on uh, display versus non-display use cases. Um, we had a lot of restrictions even from other vendors on very specific things like how we can implement their API um, that were just really frustrating, like very poor, um, almost like developer decisions on how they uh, almost like built their API, um, where we're like, this was really dumb. <laughs> you know, it was as if it was built by people who, um, you know, a team that built like a maybe a terminal first and then their API data product kind of came second and you could tell it was like the afterthought product. Um, and so, uh, so that was a problem. And then, you know, of course, we go to all the startup vendors and they're kind of built for retail traders. And so mm -hmm. there wasn't really a vendor that felt, um, you know, like a modern vendor that was meant for institutions at the time. Uh, and so that was a big impetus for why we started Data Bento. And then, of course, we talked to our LPs in the fund and heard all their problems, too, about, you know, licensing and onboarding and data quality and all these other things. And, and then we're like, you know what, 